This is a brief introduction to using your EQ in Pro Tools, specifically for acoustic guitar. So the first thing to do is make sure you can see your insert section. So go over here to this little button, choose inserts. It shows that we chose an EQ. The one that I have on here is the standard Pro Tools EQ3. Uh, now here is this guitar recording without any EQ. It um, was recorded a little too close to the microphone in a very boxy small room and that that's audible. You can hear that it sounds pretty boomy. It's pretty muddy too. So there's frequencies that we want to remove and in EQing that's often the case. It's not always about adding things. It's more often than not about removing things that you don't need there. So one technique to do that is to boost one of the bands narrow the cue and then while you're listening sweep that back and forth to try to find the specific frequencies that you don't like so we think they're down in here somewhere but let's sweep it back and forth and listen sounds like there's too much around there so it's a good idea to set it back to zero and just listen again for a second and just kind of remember where you started. And then we can try taking that out. So it'll be centered around there is what we didn't think sounded very good. You can widen the cue back up. So I think that's an improvement. You can also roll off the lows. There's no real content down here in the acoustic guitar. So might as well just have that filtered out in case someone's pumping a mic stand or any other low frequency sounds like that. And then it sounded pretty dull. So let's see if we can put a high shelf in to brighten it up a little bit. So let's A, B that and just bypass it and see and double check that what we did sounds like an improvement. So it's a pretty big improvement. It's much more clear in a mix especially it will sit in there a lot better without all that boomy, low-mid frequency stuff. And the high ends were a little brighter so you can hear some of that detail.